Good Intentions is a unique laser rifle that has the enraging legendary effect on it in Fallout 4 and in this video I will show you how to get it. Hi, I'm Mo and I'm trapped in Fallout. You will find Good Intentions in Quincy Ruins. It is located on the very bottom right hand corner of the map. It is also west of Warwick Homestead. Once you've made it to the area, so what you want to do is basically fast travel to it, so you sort of end up in this location spawn. From here, head west, go through these open gates, and then from here, look to your right. And what you want to do is sort of climb the internals of this building until you get to that sort of broken bridge over there. So let's do that. Now, while I'm doing that, a really fair warning. This area is heavily populated with a lot of gunners. We are talking a no-nonsense, no-joke area. Do not come here unless you have relatively really good gear, really good armor, really good weapons, really good perks, and so on. You will pretty much be taken down if you don't come here well prepared. So on the assumption you're well prepared, what you want to do is just enter the doorway and then you just use these stairs to go to the very top. From here, what you want to do is look around here and then go up this rooftop over here. And from here, just look to your north and go across this bridge. And you should now be on the broken bridge. Now, above here is an NPC called Clint, and he is also wearing power armor, and he is, again, a very powerful NPC boss level sort of enemy. And what we want to do is actually take him out. Taking him out will actually grant you the good intentions weapon, i.e. he is actually holding that weapon. So what I'm going to do is just go into sneak mode, and I'm going to take out my weapon, and I'm just going to try and take him out in a few hits. So from here, what I want to do is just take him out. So let me see if I can get a decent shot on him. And with that, he is now out. So if you go ahead and search his body, on him will be good intentions. Go ahead and take it. As already mentioned, good intentions has the enraging legendary effect on it. What that means is when you land critical hits on enemies, it will cause the enemy to go into a frenzy mode. What that basically means is that when enemies are frenzied, they basically go mad and they will attack anyone around them, including their own friendly NPCs. So this is a really good weapon to basically start some internal fights amongst hordes or groups of enemies. As already mentioned, Good Intentions is a unique type of laser rifle. It uses fusion cell as ammo and has a base damage of 28. When it comes to weapon modifications, you have a really good selection of modifications that you can apply to Good Intentions. When looking at the capacitor, what you want to do is go with the overcharged capacitor. What this will do is improve the damage per shot that you do. When looking at the barrel, what you want to do is go with the improved sniper barrel. This also improves your damage per shot and it also increases the range of the weapon. For the stock, you want to go with the recoil compensating stock. This increases the accuracy, but more importantly, it reduces the recoil for the weapon. For the sights, it's really up to you what you want to go with, but I personally would prefer to go with the long recon scope. This allows you to basically get some nice critical hits from a really long distance if you use VATS, but failing that, you can also use it to basically scope out your enemies. So where you would see, say, a group of enemies, that's probably where you would concentrate your critical hits on to cause them to go into mode where they basically end up attacking each other. And lastly, for the muzzle, I would go with the quantum gyro compensating lens. Again, fundamentally, this will just introduce a higher damage for your weapon whilst also reducing the recoil of the weapon. Setting your enemies against each other is a great tactical way of clearing out hordes of enemy NPCs while maintaining a safe distance for yourself. If you instead want to destroy groups of enemies using the explosive legendary effect, then click on the video you see on the screen now.